there, my name is Kiari and I enjoy playing video games. I usually play multiplayer games so I can share the experience with my friends. But I also really like some single player games, but I don't particularly enjoy playing alone. And as not all of my friends play the same games as me, as me or mm, as they don't always feel like talking about the games, I decided to share them with the whole world, why not? So, today I'm gonna play Life is Strange, which is a story-based game. Uh, the gameplay changes depending on your choices. It's a pretty new game, I think it came out this spring. Um, it's a series of five episodes. Um, the gameplay is similar to, I don't know, I, I mean the mechanics are similar to games such as uh, The Walking Dead, for instance. So, yeah, it adapts to your choices. Um, there are gonna be five episodes. Uh, the first three of them are, are already out. And the fourth is gonna come out mm, the, at the end of this month. And um, I really enjoyed playing them. I, I already played the first three episodes, but I got through them really, really fast. And it's a very detailed game, and the story changes a lot, and you have a lot of choices. So, this is gonna be sort of a more detailed gameplay, there are gonna be new things for me also because I'm gonna try to cover the things I missed the first time I played it, and I really really enjoyed it, and I hope you will enjoy it too, and you'll travel along with me. So, to cut off the late introduction, let's get into the game. So like I said, there are gonna be new things for me, there we go, what I said earlier about the game adapting to your choices. Um, I'm gonna try and make the same choices as I did in my original gameplay because I really want to see the outcome to that. So there we go. Um, so, if you don't know anything about this game, you should know that uh, it's a game about time travel, so if you've read what uh, it was written before, the game adapts to your choices and your choices change both the present and the past, and obviously the future. I really really like this game, I don't really mind the graphics, they are quite okay. Um, if I do have problems with something, uh, it's about the lip sync and the voice acting. It's not necessarily bad, but it's not really the best voice acting ever. And there are also some forced things throughout the game and at some points the gameplay may seem a little bit forced, but it's worth it, trust me. It's a really, really a great game. Holy shit. Yeah, now she sees it. Um, <laughs> It's not like she could have some uh, she could have seen that hurricane like from miles away. Oh, there we go. Boom. Not predictable unpredictable. <laughs> I'm really mean with a game that I really like. I should stop. But he could be talking about photography. Um one of the reasons for okay. I okay, I'm gonna stop talking about uh, over the down. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black I did it while asleep, and that sure didn't feel like a dream. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally the haunted controls? by the eyes of... Look at this crap. How can I show this to the Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the... A little bit now. weird when it comes to... PC gaming. Um, 
I don't know. I think that it feels a little bit more natural while playing with on a console such as a PS or something, but as I do not own one. Those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? <laughs> they would wonder who the heck keeps a diary nowadays, but... Like I said, this game is really, really detailed, and I think that one day I may be patient enough to read everything in Max's diary, but if you want to do it, I'm gonna flicker through the pages in order for you to be able to pause and read I love Seattle. I really, really want to visit Seattle. This game actually made me want to visit Seattle. So, now that we got through the pages, let's move on to the action. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation I really love this guy. I hope he doesn't turn Selfie <laughs> expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I'm gonna try and make the same choices as I would in real life, and I'll adapt through the game. So, I did know, I did know at some point. But I kind of forgot. You either know yeah, this or true. not, Max. Is there anybody here? I like how Louis Daguerre was a French man who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally, now you're totally being a bitch, sad face. I like it how the teacher goes from the Daguerre like, process brought out finding. Can you tell us, Max, to does anyone know their stuff? <laughs> the first American daguerreotype self portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook, or even oh, online. Oh, saved by the bell. Hey guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo when the Everyday Heroes contest. The bell should be an Everyday Hero. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. I do not usually replay games, but... This game is about a hipster girl who's really, really nosy and passionate about photography. I mean, it's, it doesn't waste a second. it's just a game about me. <laughs> if I could time travel, that'd be great. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe. Like I said, I'm gonna try to. What? I should have known. She'll yeah. Have better equipment I'm gonna try to get a little bit into details. I hope nobody minds. Oh, here. I can take a photo. You have just by Rachel Amber. You're gonna see soon who Rachel, uh, Rachel Amber is. I didn't see these scratch marks in, in the first, uh, first time I played the game. Oh, poor Kate. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. Kate, I hope I didn't embarrass you with my lame answer. It sucks to be dragged into the spotlight. Unless you're Victoria. She's got nothing on you, Max. Well, I should get going. Yeah, me too. Talk to you later. Sure. She's like, I should get going, and then stays there and does nothing. <laughs> hey. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Oh, come on. Excuse you. No, Victoria. I really Excuse hate us. this girl. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid 
Handing in her One of photography future stars. Yeah, she took a selfie in class. Uh, I didn't have time. I didn't no, I don't time. understand we why she doesn't time. like her picture. It's really You're a better photographer than a great life. picture. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you. But life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young. <laughs> You're young. The world is yours. Blah blah blah. You like blah blah blah. The best pep talk ever. Fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. That's what separates the artist. The sharing is what separates the artist from the amateur. Well, everyone should be called an artist nowadays because everyone is about sharing. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. You Welcome always... to the real world. Cute? Hot. <sighs> then I might send you a special picture. I'm not paying a hundred fifty dollars for Max wants everybody to see. Max wants everybody to see how cute she is. I need to see I understand her. Being gossip and make sure I don't look like hearing gossips about herself. It's not really the best. Oh, I'm sorry, like how she is like I should head out the bathroom and then things on a wall. I really like the song. This game has an amazing soundtrack and an amazing atmosphere. I think it's what that makes the game so special. And now I'm really gonna have a hard time trying not to sing along. She did. Star is always deep oh. enough. She didn't come to Blackwell to mess around. Are they bullying him? Yeah. He's so nice. Oh, oh there we go. He's missing person. And she is Rachel's lover. Well, I wish I could do Empty. Good. Nobody can see my meltdown. Except for me. <laughs> this is already a stereotype. I guess it ha it, yeah, it's a stereotype. Like it has become a stereotype to say this is stereotype. Like, watch my feel. I don't know that the hell I should face and face. Wash my I'm so I'm gonna wash my happy hands. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. Yeah. You have a if gift. Have Max. Definitely Max. I have a gift. Oh, fuck it. Well, that's not it. And that's a bit. If uh, the window there. closes, a window opens. I'm gonna see. Or something like that. This. You're correct, this is that um, I guess no sound, the little sound like I'm it is this now that there's a, when the battle tracks seem to uh, the sound the sound is similar it's playable. You have the choice that back that back the game when to make it I think that's gonna kind of be a clue. I do not I do not know of the game. Obviously just make no the ending so just and assumption. Yo. Yeah. Nathan Brad. Don't stress, you are okay. Come to three. Don't be scared. You own yeah. the school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. Yeah. You're the boss. You're the brats. Oh. So what do you want? I help you check the perimeter, as my step ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa. 
Like I said, the, fuck? the voice. <laughs> How can that be? I was exactly. in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. Like what? These pieces of time can frame us. I already room. heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now to Kate shadow. is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings. This is real. Now, How can you give me an example of a photographer? I this. In black and okay, if I'm crazy, I might as well go all the way. Can I actually reverse time? There I go. I did it. I actually did it. I think, I think she, that scares her, that scared us, and then she was like, no, nah, you're not bad, she, don't I, what happened, she was like, she was like, she wandered on, because of her kids like, together, Max, you feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children, when I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question, Just, I'm broke, if he does camera, they were wondering, for real, her selfie, a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition, and Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming this. It's real. I can tell. So I can again. Selfie expression. What if that girl isn't dead yet? Can I save her? Portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. She took us to in the classroom. Since you've been doing the conversation, please. Tell us the name of the process that gave birth to um, the first self-portraits. Uh, I'm sorry. I feel sick. May I be excused? Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. Actually, we can talk more after class. with my high school teachers, that might have worked. Jefferson wants to keep me after class. It's not time to save that girl. The process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Well, Very let's good, try. What if I rewind oh, again and give him the right answer? Detailing people. The Ligurian process. The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named. Louise Daguerre, she's such a teacher. I feel Somebody so bad reading as well after as this. Nice work, Max. The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually like I said, reading he's praising her again. I just feel so bad for Wait. being praised for something that. Guys, don't I forget the deadline to win a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. No way she walks. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. No, no, no. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an Everyday Hero. Oh, of course. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your intro. Um, I'd never let one I'm of photography. Not sure if I have one. Yeah, I'm not sure if I have one. Given your selfie output, I'm sure you must have about a thousand pics by now. It'll take a long time to find a good one. Max. Don't wait too long. Well, at least now the pet talk is not including blah blah blah. Go on. Um, Don't let me stop. Yeah, I remember doing that the first time, so I'm if I can do it by that. No, then I can she's such a cheater. Alright? Excuse me. Mr. <sighs> Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse Young us. Young yeah. I've never let one of photography's... I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making... Such a 
Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. I like this quotation. I actually had to write a speech about it once. Thanks to my English teacher. I love her. <laughs> well then, go. I hope I have I time know. to get to the bathroom. Please, please. Come on. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. You need to save life. That's all you can do. <laughs> Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave <sighs> out of this bitch. This I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am, or who you're messing around with. What are you doing? Oh god. Come on, put that thing down. Tell me what to do. How's there anything Yeah. I can. to control me. I need a hammer to break it open. more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever Come on. Mr. Punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho. Oh, holy shit, I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help. Just in time. Mr. Punk ass, would they? No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? I like you're not already freaking Do out. Freak out. Oh. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in heels. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that. I remember going to the principal and telling him about what Nathan did, so or tried to. So I'm gonna do that and then exit the main campus. <laughs> this is literally the lamest excuse ever. I'm worrying about my future. <laughs> You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done Come something Come on, wrong? Principal Nick Fury. Is that it? Well, of course Max, I'm going to report Nathan. Talk to me. I mean, I would do that even if I didn't have the power to just saw return, Prescott but to turn back time. I mean, go the heck. Nathan Prescott. You don't you see should. a student yes. waving a gun around and then talk do not report him. Gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. I know, I know. I just want to try to make excuses from him. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girl's bathroom. So what happened next? Then... Then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? him? This no. Serious I just tried to kill someone. I'll look into the matter first. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Carfield. Of course, this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell. So now we're out in the main campus. I know there are a lot of interactions here. I didn't interact with everyone last time, and I don't think I will now because even for a detailed gameplay, that's a little bit too detailed. <laughs> I mean, there are like, I don't know, 10 people here you can interact with, and I don't think it actually changes the gameplay. Um, but I know there's this teacher with 
her petition that I want to sign. I didn't sign last time and I hope it won't have a great impact, but uh, I didn't know about it and I really felt bad about not signing it. Hi, Miss Grant. Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition, but would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? Sure, I always have time for you. She always has time for What's the petition? David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Hall, oh, so gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high um, school in the penitentiary. Help, Rachel, I guess. Yeah, I guess cameras could have helped Rachel. I can see both sides. You're fair-minded, Max. And we all pray Rachel is found safe and sound, bless her soul. But this petition isn't about her. Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage, from the Native Americans who founded this land to the pioneers who shared it in peace, not fear and violence. Hmm. The Native Americans? The tribes who I remember who welcomed the that in her recent person poster, Rachel Amber had this now before I hearing. Sign homework with this lecture. I don't know what to do since you I didn't think that uh, there to was to going to be a choice. Like, I think this might influence the gameplay. And even though, like I said, I felt bad about not signing in the first place, but I think I'm not going to sign because I'm afraid it might impact the story in a way that I don't want it to or at least I want to see my first outcome and then maybe I'll replay it again without boring you or something <laughs> just for my Miss Grant I totally respect your passion and knowledge but also I think that cameras make me feel a little safer I'm not against at this point of the game we should all be concerned when private space becomes public your generation has been tricked. I'm recording myself Everyone now. Yeah, this action will have consequences, like I said. Well, uh, I think that if this were the first time I, were playing the, I was playing the game, uh, I would not sign because after seeing a guy waving a gun in girls' room, it's not exactly what you want to see. And I think some security cameras might help and yes i have her ringtone on my phone and i'm proud of it and i like warren but i think it's a little bit friend zoned i hope i can do something about oh god poor guy poor guy I totally feel him <laughs> i hope i can do something about this in this game i mean i really hope they end up together Okay, I better get to my dorm and well, grab that flashback. First have to open up your journal. Yeah, um, the journal is also sort of a menu. Here are the objectives. Also, the people you interacted with. Um, some... I don't know, I think this is the, like the map of the game. Yeah, it's the map of the game. The places you've been. And you can also get access to your phone from here. This is these are all works of Mr. Jefferson, I think. Yeah. That's one of Mr. Jefferson is her photography teacher that we've seen in the first scene. And I really like that guy. Like I said, I hope he doesn't turn out to be bad. Yeah, so I think I'm going to end it here for now. If you enjoyed this, this sounds so stereotypical and rehearsed, but if you, really en if you enjoyed this game like I do, and if you want to see more of me playing it, because, well, maybe you want to see somebody else, <laughs> but if you want to see more of me playing it, let me know. And join me in the next one. See ya!